All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's your good friend Possible here, and I'm back with another interesting review of a Giello classic. Your advice is a locked room, and only I have the key. Uh, henceforth, this title will just be known as Vice. Okay, let's make things really easy here. Uh, basically, what you've got here is a very intriguing story. Uh, it starts off with the gentleman whose um, mom has just passed on, and he's in mourning. But you know what? He's a used to be a teacher, used to be a famous writer. Now his life and his personal internal demons are t catching up with him, and he's falling apart. And, you know, he likes to still party. He hangs out with all these young kids who party very hard. This was banged in 1972. So imagine that this is the, you know, what was becoming of the hippie generation. Still into free love, drugs, alcohol, but they'd been forgetting about their social standing and just went for the parties now. Um, his, he, though he's a married man, he has mistresses, mistresses, and he doesn't have any secrets. His wife knows he's sleeping around on him, on her, and um, all of a sudden, his mistresses start dying, you know, and they're all killed in the same fashion. And it's a very, it brings up a lot of questions of who's doing it, why are they doing it. What's interesting is that at some point, you get this idea that after two, or was it three people that were murdered, they catch the bad guy, they catch the murderer. Now, there's still a lot of timeless in this movie, and the movie kind of slows down at this point. But if you stick around for it, it's worth it, you know. It's interesting because you have this di this interesting love-hate relationship between a husband and wife. It's The only difference between this and real life is that here it's a little bit more homicidal, okay? You get this niece who comes in, and you don't know whose side she's on. You don't know what she's about. You don't know really what's going on with her. She seems kind of uh, torn. Not really torn. But she seems to be part of the person who's doing the tearing. Uh, it's classic Giallo. Very intense movie. Very interesting of characters and character development. Not great horror, of course. Not great special effects. Yes, the blood still looks like tomato juice uh, or ketchup. And the, um, the wounds still look like they're pasted on, you know. So not great special effects. But forgive. Like I said, there are some parts where we can forgive. It was made in 1972. These people were just figure, were still figuring out the movie industry, you know. It was still all new. This one's a little bit more erotic than any of the other ones. They dwell into territories very... Very few movies, even to, even to this day, are not willing to go. You got some lesbianism, interracial relationships, and some incest. Uh, very different, very bold for that kind of day and age. You know, very um, very out there for that kind of day and age. Uh, even today, some of those are still considered taboo. You know, but Vice is still a see it again. The ending almost makes it. It's not a twist that you didn't see coming. But the writing's good, the acting's decent, and uh, the whole storyline, very, very cool. It's a see it for sure, and I hope you enjoy it. Until then, guys, I'm sure we'll see you next time, and who knows, maybe we'll run into each other at the theaters.